As soon as I got off the train, I it was, was even on the train. It was on the train. I'm scared of trains. I am petrified. And I just looked, and I like it was like a double take, and I felt I felt like a princess. I felt like I was in a Disney film. I felt like Belle. I was so happy, and I just I was overwhelmed. I was quite emotional because everything I've been through to get to this point. I, it was, I've never seen anything like it, and I'm, oh, I was so happy. I, so, me and Alex are part of the PSS, which is Pearson Shape Support, and we are funded by COPE, which is Children of Prisoners Europe and they funded for us to get us here and basically me and Alex have both experienced parents in prison and many people think it's a situation they don't really think about the child's perspective they just think about the person who's in jail and judge them but they don't really understand what comes along for the kids and what baggage that comes along with them. Um, my story is um, my dad has been arrested twice and still in prison, but and it's just about me like finding PSS and like getting through it all and coming out to the better side. Adults need to understand that we Don't judge. are children, so the questions that they sometimes ask take a toll on the child. Like, there's some things that are kept from the children when the parents go into prison. So, all I advise them is to be careful with the questions they ask and be open-minded. So, do, please, like, we advise any adult, please do not ask, why are your parents away? Because some children don't know, and other times it's hard for the children to understand. When you experience it, like, it does bring all them feelings back and it brings the emotions back and it was just, it was a bad time, like, in my life and it was hard. I was 18, I was 10. For me, like, I had a really, like, confidence knock and self-esteem knock. I just had, like, no confidence or self-esteem at all. And then coming here, speaking out about my story, Participating in community groups and the workshops, it's just like boosted my confidence big time. Like, if you were to say to me a few weeks ago, Are you going to be speaking in front of people about your story in the human library? I wouldn't have done it because I, I wouldn't have been able to. It's hard to believe before any of this happened. I was not confident. I didn't speak, I didn't sing. I used to sit in my room and draw. I love art. Um, and then, next minute, I'm standing in front of conferences. I'm speaking, I'm being confident, I'm trying to be funny. Can you please get up and give the kids support? That's all they're asking for. And thank you for the experience that Katz has given us and the PSS and cope, and uh, I love you all, thank you so much. Yeah, um, I want to say to the kids that things get better. Like, you're not alone. You're not impossible. If you put an apostrophe in it, I'm possible, not impossible. And that's it from me. And me. <laughs> Amen. Amen. You too. Uh, yeah. Amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. You too.